that's why the first Corinthians. Bible says that they were according to Apostles of Christ, chapter 13, chapter 13. Now faith, hope, and love. 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 Now faith,
kitu kia tatu ile 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 tumaini ifanye kazi ili tumaini iwe iwe active ifanye kazi ndani ya maisha yako yani kile kitu mimiki ambacho Mungu aliahidi lazima mpende Mungu and if that hope is to work to manifest mm. you need to love the lord amen if it will that to live your power and say mambo kwa kwa kwanza kuna kuna tatu kwamba tunatumika pamoja and this is what paul told us in the in the first chronicles the first the first, the first, first corinthians. corinthians that 1313 he said that these are the three things hope faith and love and they work together lakini sasa anasema upendo wa au uko juu ya yote and he said love is above all these three anasema ili kitu ambacho wewe unakipenda unakitumaini kiweze kufanikiwa lazima uwe na upendo ambao unakaa mahali anything that you love that you have faith in it and have hope in it it must have love of it haleluya amen ni kusema kama upendo hauko hata ukitumaini hautafanikiwa and even if if even if, if, if you don't have love and you have the hope that thing will not manifest without love hope, hope is 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 helpless amen amen tunaenda wana wapendwa do we understand ni kusema kitu kia kwanza kazi ya kwanza ni imani pale yule na imani ni Mungu kitu kia pili ngazi ya pili iko tumaini unatumaini kwa mbole Mungu atarudi kupinyakuwa kwenda mbinguni ngazi ya tatu unakamata upendo wako hapa chini ya juu usipende mambo ya ulimwengu usipende dunia lakini unampenda ule Mungu na mwambie Mungu nakupa maisha yangu yatawaa the three pillars you have the faith first one that the Lord is there the second is that you have the hope that the Lord will come and take me up and the third is to have the love of God not the love of his other things that we have. Hapana. Tusome wa Filipi sura moja mstari wa 20. Let us read the book of Philippians chapter 1 five of the chapter verse. Sura sura moja mstari wa 20. The verse 22. 20. Philippians 1:20. By the way nasema as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed but that with full courage now as always Christ will be honored in my body whether by life or by death tusome hiyo neno mbili swahili twende mtaya hakuna jina kiswahili cha bibi ya kiswahili ba there's no word of swahili in the bible wa filipi tusome wa filipi book of filipi Yaani katika kitabu cha Wafilipi Biblia inasema inasema ya kwamba tutumaini Mungu kwa umakini na wakati tunatumaini Mungu kwa umakini hakuna mtu aliye na tumaini ambaye atapata haya kama akikaa katika mwana He says that he, as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at, at all ashamed but with full courage now as always Christ will be honored Lakini anasema Yesu Kristo atukuzwe ndani ya mwili wangu katika maisha yangu wakati niko katika tumaini lake that the Lord will be glorified into your body as you have the hope in the Lord Christ. Amen amen. Ni kusema hawezi kuwa nikile lele na maisha wakati uko Mkristo au katika imani ndani ya Kristo. Hawezi hawezi kuwa hawezi kufutwa na maisha. You can't just think like careless like that when you know that Christ is in you. Hawezi kufutwa na habari ya mwili wako. You cannot just play around in your body when you know that you have the hope in the Lord. How is the unfutter na mabazi yako akutrema yako? How is the unfutter na? You can't just wear any hole because of the Lord that you have in you. How why how was you kula na una yoyote wakati uko mkristo? Bibi na katana. Anasema kwamba Yesu atukuzwe katika mwili wako ndani ya maisha yako. The Bible tells us that the Lord be glorified in your life, in your in your life. So 
you cannot eat any honey, you cannot use your body any honey. Maana tumaini tunajua na ndio linakwenda mikoni. Amen. Hope is to go to heaven. Yaani ma mwili wetu iko nyumba ile roho itakao jaboliwa. Lazima ule mwili uchunge. Aha our body is that temple that we are wrapped that will be taken therefore we need to take care of it. Na huu mwili Biblia inasema utageuzwa and this body will be time transformed. Atakutokuwa kwenye mtukufu utakao jaboliwa kwenda mbinguni. It will be holy body that will be taken to Lazima mwili pia uwe mtukufu uwe mkamilifu. Therefore the whole the body too need to be taken care of and be holy. Paulo anasema na chakula ambayo naingia ndani to be sorted out ni chakula gani? And the Paul tells us that even the food that we eat let us know what kind of food we are eating. Na maji gani tunakunywa? Maji gani tunakunywa? Amen. Si tulisoma dimanche passé, Biblia tulisoma dimanche passé anasema ya kwamba Hatukubaliwe sisi kama vile wa Kristo kuingia ndani ya ya kato pao ndani ya ya ya, ya clubs kwenye mahali ambapo wapagani wanakula pao hatukubaliwe sisi Biblia inakataa mwili mtukufu haipaswaenda mahali ambapo wapagani wanaenda kesho we read last time the bible that we are not allowed to go in the pubs where the pagans or non believers are and we are not allowed to associate ourselves in such parties or other Uh, places where the, the people who are not godly. Are. And 